All right, Dark Symphony, <coughs> Dark Symphony drummer here. Uh, this video is dedicated to our bassist, Dark Symphony bass. Uh, look him up on YouTube. He's the only friend on my new page. Um, so today I'm talking about the Gravity Blast because he, I told him, yo, hey, I can put Gravity Blast because I learned it off of a uh, Spiky Drummer. He's a really good uh, teacher. You might want to check him out, Spiky Drummer, on that's his YouTube channel, all one word, Spiky Drummer. Um, and. The gravity blast is also known as the fulcrum technique. And the easiest way to do these techniques is with wood sticks and you know, Travis Barker sticks. Because if you notice, if I hold this straight, uh, if I hold this straight, it's not really going to fall. Or if I do this with my left hand, it's a little bit easier with my left hand. Eh. All right. Now if I hold this in pretty much the middle, it it will fall, but it's not going to fall as much. But with Metal sticks, also known as the head sticks. Stay, stay. There. These will fall right away. They'll either fall up or they'll fall down. Because they're they're bottom heavy, or I should actually should say it's top heavy. Um. But. Yeah. <coughs> uh. Alright, make sure the door's closed. Can't play my drums without the door closed. Alright. Now to do the gravity blast, put your stick. I can use the Travis Parker thing for this. Put your thumb and index, pinch it, right above right on the left of the T. So right about here. And then close your fingers around it, and they should close up on his entire name. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to put your stick, use a lug nut for the re reference, right about even with the with the end of the lug nut, right as you can see right there, a little bit farther. What you want to do is you want to drop your stick, put it level like this, then just drop it. Now as you see, you get that, you get the buzz. You don't want that buzz, so you want to push down and lift up on the rim, like that. And you think, oh, that's a small shot, but when you put it, you put it down like that, and you pick it back up, there's two hits right there. And if you do it close enough, you get what's called a gravity blast, because you're using the gravity of a fulcrum. Don't bury it, don't bury it, because you get this. You don't want that. You want just quick and easy. Almost as if you're going, you're trying to pump a, uh, a, uh, tire up with a hand pump. With one hand. So As you notice, the farther you get away, the more it becomes impossible to do. Or if you put it too close, you can't do it that much. Or if you put it too far away, you can't because you'll be out all the way up here. Or if you want in the middle, you need the leverage right there. Alright, now I'm going to show you what it sounds like. And then the, to complete it, you just want to basically do 16 notes, or I should say facets, whatever you want to call them, on the bell of your ride, or on your, the bow of your ride, or on a or quarter, I should say not quarter notes, like maybe halves on a crash. Um, for one thing, this is definitely not a breakdown thing. You don't want to use this for a breakdown, because it will sound very stupid. So I'll show you it with like different variations of symbols.
position is important because I just tried doing it down the middle of his name, right in the space between the Travis and the Barker. Because that's pretty far down, right about there. And I can't, if you put it in your hand, that's not good enough. I don't want it to sound buzzy, you want it to sound as if it's, you're hitting the drum hard. Yeah, so that's the gravity blast.